Okay, hey guys, and welcome to our celebration Zoom. So this time we are celebrating back from the month of June, and June was such an incredible month. It was so fun. So many people are still on just this momentum high from convention. Um, it was absolutely incredible. It is one of my favorite times of year. Aside from the dual trips that happen every September, convention is my next favorite thing because we get to see so many of you guys that are there. I got to meet so many of you in person, which was super, super fun. Um, and here's what I will say. We're going to hear some people and their stories about their very first convention um, you know, how that impacted them and different things like that, or from people who've been there before. Um, but here's what I will say is that if you did not get to go this year, book your tickets now for Vegas for next year. Like, don't wait. They're discounted now. Every single month, they will continue to go up in price. So get your tickets now and anticipate that you are going to have people who are going to be there who will be able to fill a room with you and you will be able to share with them and you're going to have people on your team. I want you to start thinking about that now. And if you went to convention this year and you were the only person on your team, I want you to envision how many people you want to have there with you next year because leaders are born at events. I would not be the same person that I am today and I would not have the business that I have today if it wasn't for that very first convention. And I went out, it was in Vegas, and I went out there, I had a nursing baby, we decided a week before, and I shared a room with three other girls, <laughs> okay? And so it was crazy. We were up at like 3.45 every morning walking the halls because my baby was on East Coast time and we were in Vegas. Okay, I was walking the Vegas Strip at 5 a.m. with my baby, but I will tell you that it was 1000% worth it because that's where I caught the vision for what this business could be. And it changed our life forever. And I saw those jewels walking across the stage and I said, I will be here next year as a jewel and I will walk that stage. And we made it happen. And it didn't happen by accident, but belief was born in that moment because I saw all of those top earners on stage there. And I knew that there was nothing different between them and me and that if they could be successful, I could be successful too. So I hope that tonight, as you hear people share, we have some people, this is the very first time that they are ever sharing on these Zoom calls. So give them, you know, just some round of applause and some encouragement in the chat um, because you guys all know how nerve wracking that can be. But one of the things is the way that we get more confident, the way that we get better at things is we just do it scared, right? Just face your fear, do the thing that you are afraid of. Um, so I'm really, really excited for you guys to hear from people tonight who are having, who had amazing Junes, amazing Mays, and they, a lot of them went to convention for the first time. And so we're going to go ahead. Let's see how I do with technology real quick. Okay. I love having these little slideshows. Makes me feel very professional, you guys. Okay. Can everybody see that? Are we good? Give me a thumbs up if we're good. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So first of all, we had so many people who enrolled at least one person, helped one new VIP get signed up. And because of that, they got 250 perk points, which is yay, free products. You can use that for it. It's one of the things that I love that Plexus does is that they reward you for consistency. So every single month that your order goes through, you get perk points. And so this just means that you got added perk points for sharing your referral link with someone else. Um, and so I love that they have started doing that. That's another thing that they have going on this month. So if you share your referral link with at least one person, then you can get those 250 perk points. Okay. And then it's was so fun. We always do... Um, at the end of the month, we do this rally chat for the last three days of the month and then the first three days of the month. So if you guys haven't joined that, um, I will do a post after subscriptions run on the 28th and anyone who comments gets to be added in there. And we just do some fun end of the month things. And something that is always said at the very end of the month when people are running is my 
phone's dying. My phone is dying. I'm talking to so many people. I'm in so many conversations and I've had to charge it three times today, or I'm glued to the charger uh, because I can't get it charged enough. And so I love that Plexus did the portable charging kits so that you can take that around with you so that you don't have to be glued to a charger, especially for the end of the month. So that was a super fun perk. So here are all of our earners that we had for that. Um, and anyone who enrolled above three also got them. So that is going to turn me over to our very first speaker that we have for tonight. We're going to have Corley share, um, and I can't wait for her to just share about how she added those four people and what her experience was like at her very first convention. And she had her baby with her, which I just, I love when people bring babies to convention because it's so near and dear to my heart because I've had my babies and my kids at so many different Plexus events. They literally have like stroller parking. You will see dads with all of these, you know, strollers, babies, all the the things, all the baby carriers. And so it makes my heart so happy because it is such a friendly or family friendly company. So go ahead and share with us. Huh? Man. Good. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Sorry. So I was thinking about convention and yes, it was absolutely amazing. Alicia kept telling me about it. And I was like, I can't afford to go. Like, that's a lot of money. I'll make that much in this year, but I am so thankful that I went and there were amazing speakers. And I was going to talk about the speakers and all the things I learned, but I just decided to, to share like what I, when I think of convention, what I think of. And Brittany took me on a walk and told me everything that happens when you go Emerald and brought me to the Emerald Lounge. And I was just like, I'm gonna be here next year. Like I need snacks. I can't live off of water. I need to be able to come in here. So that like something that sticks with me that she took the time on me to do that. And then Alita's party, it was so cool. I'm like, forget convention, Alita's party was awesome. <laughs> and then just like seeing everyone in person, like these were all just real people, like normal people living our life. And that was, like just incredible to meet people who I've spent months messaging and seeing on Facebook. So, um, and the last thing is I had an amazing talk with you, Megan and Phil and Cheryl, and it just solidified that um, this dream that I have and this feeling that this is what God wants me to do. Like the whole trip, the whole weekend, that conversation, all of it solidified that for me. And I just want to say to each and every one of you, like, we don't have dreams for no reason. And this isn't put on our heart for just for no reason. Like we're doing this because we're meant to do this. So um, that was my convention piece. And then um, I'll kind of talk about some things that I've worked on the past couple months to try to like really push my business forward. And um, Phil said last night, I'm going to get it wrong, Phil, sorry, <laughs> something like excuses sound best to the person making them. And man, I have got a long list of excuses and the, they keep piling up. Like we have the stomach bug. I have been dealing with throw up and diarrhea all day. <laughs> And, you know, there's always excuses, but I've worked my business and I know that everyone on this call has like so many excuses to not do the things that we need to do to keep the business going. So um, I just really appreciate Phil saying that. And I take those ex excuses every single day and I say, nope, I am the CEO of my own business. I am a leader of leaders and I can do this while wiping up throw up. And um, I've just worked so much on my mindset and listening to books and Audible and all those things um, and vision casting, learning from Megan. Um, and the I'm probably going too long. I'm almost done. <laughs> I've just been doing all the messages, all the hard things. I message people every day. I ask them if they want to try the products. I ask them if they want to do the business with me. I do it eloquently, not like that, but I ask them and I do the ask. And June, I did an in-person event. So getting in person and on the way home from convention, I talked to the lady on the plane and she ended up signing up, um, just talking like my whole life, I eat, sleep, breathe plexus and I'm going to do this. And I, I can't do anything that's not plexus anymore. It's probably unhealthy, but that's, that's how I'm getting it done. <laughs> Well, I absolutely love that. Okay. And it sounds so similar to when we came back from our very first convention, literally, I mean, everything was, was about Plexus. Like Alita and I were just talking the other day about how, you know, we used to, we would have Plexus swag, like 
everywhere we went, when I decided that we were going to do this, Phil actually made these tank tops for me. And I had a different color for every single day. And it said, ask me about Plexus. I dare you. And I literally wore that every day of the week because I was determined to have people be like, okay, well, like, what is that stuff? Um, and he's a marketer by nature. It's what he does. And so he was like, this is what we're putting on a tank top for you. And I wore that so proud. And we bought this whole backdrop banner that literally sat in our living room. That was massive. That was about Lexus so that when I was recording my training videos and different things like that, my training videos that I was making when I had three people on my team, okay, mind you, and it just stayed up in our living room because we didn't have anywhere else for it. We were living in a townhouse at the time in Florida. And so I share that with you guys because those are the things that I'm not saying that you have to do that, but when you want to see accelerated growth, you are constantly going to be thinking, how can I bring Plexus into this? You know, you're like, it's probably unhealthy. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> I, it's one of those things that sometimes you have to drive really hard in the beginning and go, this business loves speed. And so if you want to see accelerated results, you're going to do this on the call the other night, Phil talked about, does your grind match your dream? And that's what I see in you. You're like, you have this really big dream in your heart and you're like, I'm going to match it. I'm going to do the scary things. I'm going to host the in-person events. You signed up the person on the airplane next to you. Like that is absolutely amazing. And I love it. And if we just make it a natural part of our day and in conversation with people, you are going to see results from this. It is a numbers game. So you have to talk to more people. So I absolutely love everything that you shared. And I can't wait to see you walk across that stage as a jewel. Okay, so we, I'm going to turn it over to Emily Little. I love her so much. She did some amazing things with her team while they were there at convention too. Um, I know her and Jackie and Allie and they had this whole team dinner and it was the cutest thing in the world with all these little cards and their names. And I just loved everything about it. But Em also had a super, super amazing month. She added four people. So Em, go ahead and share with us just a little bit more about your um, convention experience this year and then what you did to help you sign up for people. Oh, you're muted. Okay, we did have the cutest party. You are not wrong. Um, one of my favorite things about convention is that this was my third in-person convention, fourth total. And this year I had a whole team come with me, which means I get to love on them and I get to spoil them. And that was just such an honor and a blessing to me. Um, but for those of you who need to know more about convention, one of my favorite things about it is learning the heart of the company. Um, you don't really get that because, you know, we're not in an office every single day. We don't hear the president speak or your boss speak or any of that because you're your own boss. Um, but going to convention really shows the heart on, and who Plexus is. And it lights a fire inside of you because not only do they love you and care about you, but they walk with so much integrity that they want to spread across the globe. And you don't want to not be a part of that. You want to immerse yourself in it. And then, especially when you get to earn all of the extra things, um, I was fortunate that one of my beautiful downline ladies invited me to the Hispanic event that I got to be a part of. I got to be a part of gold school. I got to be a part of winner's dinner. And these are all different events that happen on different days. And you really just get to see how Plexus spoils you rotten. And I, when I talk to people about it, I'm like, literally, I have never had another job that does something like this. And I am a teacher by trade. And let me tell you, teacher, teachers are not appreciated in this capacity by any means where you get to buy a beautiful dress and you get to have all the food and you get to have dancing. Like you're just spoiled in a totally different level where every single year I ask myself, how is this my life? How is this my job? How is this how I am helping provide for my family and I get rewarded so beautifully? It just blows me away every single year. Um, so to see the heart of them, to feel totally rewarded. And then the biggest thing is to be surrounded by people that you only meet online, um, to get to build relationships, to get to hug the people that you talk to all the time, the ones that are pouring into you to actually have a conversation with them and have coaching on site with them. It just 
it means so much to know that you are not just a person on a screen, but that you are valued and that you are loved so much and that they are going to go above and beyond to show you what you mean to them. You are definitely not just some recruit that they found um, by the luck of the draw. Like you are poured into your love. You have been prayed for and you are an answer to prayer. And to just feel that in such a real life way has meant so much to me. And I know that it means that much for my team too. And having our downline do that to me means I get to pour it into other people. Um, as far as June, as far as recruiting girls, yes, I did recruit four people. Um, and really my best tips for that is to love people well. Um, because two of those people that I signed up were re-signups, people who have tried the products before and it didn't work out. But just because it didn't work out doesn't mean that I stop loving them. And it doesn't mean that I'm not still there for them and I'm not still showing up for them. And so I was still a part of their life. I was still commenting. I was still texting. I was still showing up for them. And so when the time was right, they were like, okay, let me order this. I'm ready to go. And who did they come to? me because I was the one who has been investing in them. There's plenty of other people who sell plexus that they could have gone with, but because they know that I love them and I value them and I appreciate them, they wanted to order through me. And so, um, the two other people were like long gamers. Okay. They weren't like, I messaged them on the first try and they said, yes, it was like, it's literally been months of me relationship building with them, of me bringing it up, of talking about it. And they say no. And me trying again, like the no doesn't mean no, it just means not right now. And being persistent and making sure that you're not just loving people for the sale, you're not just pursuing them and then never talking to them, to them again, but you're literally, like, literally one of those people I invited to my house, okay? I was just like, you know what? We've been talking about this for months back and forth. Why don't you just come over? I cooked dinner for her and her husband. And then at the end of dinner, she was like, okay, tell me about Plexus. Like, it, that I served her. And so she was ready to be open and vulnerable with me about those things. And so I can't stress that enough is it's not about the quick sale. It's about showing up for people, showing them that you were not going anywhere, that this isn't a fad that you're just going to do for a couple months or do for a year and then give up on. You stand by these products, but you also stand by them and you're not going to give up on them, even if they're not ready to bet on themselves. M. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love everything that you shared about because we are in this for the long run. Okay. We're in this for the long game. And I love that when her friends thought about coming back to ordering Plexus, they immediately thought, Emily, that she's my Plexus person. Like she's my go-to person. There are going to be other people in your community who are going to sell Plexus. What is going to make you stand out as a person? Because they're not just buying the products, they are buying you. So what are you offering to them? How are you adding value to their life? Em's like, come over, I'm gonna cook you dinner. Let's do life together. We've been in conversations for years. Let's let's do this, right? And you know what? If at the end of that conversation, her friend decided not to order, I can guarantee you that Em still would have them over for dinner for another night, okay? And so people, um, one of the number one hesitations that people have about network marketing is they don't want to just feel like a number. And so we pride ourselves in saying that we do network marketing the way it can and should be done, but very rarely ever is. And M is the perfect example of that because she loves on people so well and she's not giving up she knows if they say no just means no not, not right now right she's going to keep being persistent she's going to keep loving them keep offering them keep being bold she didn't think she was annoying them did you notice those words never came out of her mouth she didn't say oh man i apologize because i felt like i was annoying them no she's like i love them so much i'm here to serve them which means i'm going to continue to ask them if they want to do this with me because she knows the benefits and she is so confident in that. You know, there's another story. Um, There's a diamond. Her name is Tamara Holloway. She's one of the top diamonds in Plexus. And my friend, Emily Burgess is under her and she had sent Emily <laughs> samples in the mail um, and Emily threw them away. And 
for, I think it was four years, Tamara messaged and and just kept, kept going with her. She said she had tons and tons and tons of people come to her about other network marketing opportunities and other people in Plexus, but she went with Tamara when she was ready to do it because Tamara was the only one who was consistent in talking to her, even when she said no. And that's really, really important. So when people think of who's their go-to plexus person, do they think of you or are they going to go to somebody else because you gave up on them too soon? So that's something really, really important to keep in mind. So I love that. Okay. Um, Let me see. I'm going to go back to our screen share real quick. Um, I lost them. I had the slides to show something and I don't know where they went to. So I'm not going to show that anymore. But on there, it was showing people who ranked up for this month, which was fantastic. And one of those people who went fast start silver was Megan Conrad. And so I'm going to go ahead and have her share about how did she go fast start silver? What are some tips that she has? Um, Because that's super exciting. And if you um, have people on your teams, when they share the referral link with three people, they can get up to $300. That's amazing. That helps people to cover the cost of their products and then some. And that is one of the very best things that you can do for retention for your people is get money in their pocket and get them helping people and get them to find some accountability partners. So Megan, go ahead and share with us. Hi, yes. Okay, so um, yeah, like Megan said, I started as Fast Track Silver. Um, I literally started on the products in like April. Um, and then Kate, my sponsor, asked me at the end of May, did I want to start maybe like selling and sharing? Um, and I didn't really know anything other than I loved the products and they were helping me. So I'm like, sure, why not? <laughs> like, let me help other people. Let me make some extra money. Um, so I started sharing at like the end of May. So only after like a month of being on the products. Um, and I think how I had such a good start was really just thinking of the people closest to me. Um, and, you know, these products were helping me. I really liked them. So they can help the people close to me too. So I really thought of like my mom, my best friend's mom, who I call my second mom, my best friend, like the people closest to me. And I reached out to them, um, you know, to let them know that I started on these amazing products. Um, and I think that really helped me just starting in my inner circle with the people closest and helping them first um and then also um like I had a chat party an online chat party um where I sent individual messages to people inviting them I also posted on all my socials like stories Instagram Facebook wall everywhere um and I think the biggest thing from the chat party was the follow-ups um following up with the people because some people join, but maybe I would have never heard from them. Maybe they were interested, but if I hadn't followed up, I would have never heard. So definitely the following up, I think really helped me also because I ended up getting two signups, I think, from that online chat party. Um, so yeah, definitely following up, I would say was key with that. Um, and then since then, I've done a VIP Zoom um, where I got to share my story as the months are going on. I'm only loving the products more and finding more things that they're helping me with, which is helping me help others with the same issues where, you know, I'm learning more about the products as I go. So if they have other issues, like I know what can help them now. Um, So yeah, I'm really excited um, to keep going. I'm excited for next year's convention. I didn't make it to this one because I I kind of just started, so the timing wasn't right, but I'll definitely be at the next one. And I'm just so excited to keep going, keep helping people and keep ranking up. I love that, Megan. Thank you so much for sharing. So those are really good tips. Start with your inner circle. Um, So helping people to reach out to those people who are close to them, doing the online chat party, but not just doing the party, making sure that you actually follow up with people 
Fortune is in the follow-up. And then I love that it progressed, right? So first it started out as kind of, she was posting on social media, right? And then it went to an online chat party. And then it's progressed to, she hosted her own VIP Zoom call where she shared her story, was on video live. Like I know she was super nervous and she did absolutely amazing on that. And so it's kind of just progressing into pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. And then those rewards are going to come. We always say that it is about the person that you are becoming along the way and the ranks and all the accolades and all those different kinds of things. Those it's just icing on the cake really is what's happening. And so in network marketing, it is a personal growth plan um, that is, you know, that has a compensation plan attached to it. And also I'm realizing that I absolutely went out of order um, in what our lineup was supposed to be like. And that's fine because that happens. And I warned everyone that this could happen. I just didn't think I was going to be the one to mess it up, but it's fine that it was me. Um, So just, you know, six years into this and things like this still happen. So it's all good. So um, I am actually going to turn it over to Kara for her to share. She had an amazing June um, and she added four people. So we're going to have her share just some of her top tips um, and just what has really been different this go around for her um, with Plexus in sharing, kind of diving into that. Her why is so different. So I'm really excited for you um, to share that, Kara. Hi, I'm Kara. Um, so I started using Plexus products like over five years ago, but I just kind of dabbled with the business here and there over the years um, until just recently when I actually started working the business side of things. Uh, so I definitely have imposter syndrome talking right now. But um, when I recently like just started sharing again, no one was really engaging. I was super discouraged. Like I'm just annoying people. Um, but I was talking to like Kristen, Megan and Phil, and they really helped me kind of shift my mindset to focus more on my own personal growth and my why. Um, and I know it sounds so cliche, but it really made all the difference. Um, I'm in healthcare. I'm super passionate about helping others like optimize their health, preventing suffering, getting to like the root cause of issues. So talking to others about the product came super easy to me, especially when they brought it up first. But when it came to like the business piece or me initiating conversations about Plexus or following up like on people that didn't already purchase, uh, it was super uncomfortable, like way outside my comfort zone. Um, I always second guess myself, like felt annoying or salesman like, um, but I recognized that, well, Phil and Megan and Kristen helped me recognize that my mindset was what was holding me back. So I listened to a few leadership books um, and it really helped boost my confidence. So I guess more so I stopped worrying about signing up X amount of people or hitting whatever rank and started just focusing more on building genuine relationships with people with the intentions of helping them feel better. Um, once I started doing that, everything kind of came much more naturally um, and it was actually really fun. I'm like, oh, this is, I enjoy doing this anyway. Um, might as well make some money doing it. But I would say forcing myself to consistently step outside of my comfort zone really helped boost my confidence like in everyday life too. I mean, I still have like so much to learn and so much room for growth. But um, I think the main takeaway is like do some self-reflection identify your weaknesses or what makes you uncomfortable and then actively kind of take steps to improve in those areas. I mean, plexus aside, like showing up for yourself ultimately makes you a better wife, mom, friend, leader, whatever. And other people quickly like pick up on that and they want to be a part of it. So at the end of the day, I mean, we all just want to feel good. So I'm just trying to, yeah. I love that. And Kara, do you want to, um, can you share what were some of the books um, or podcasts or things that you started reading or listening to? Um, right now I'm doing the Dare to Lead. Um, Dare to Lead? Yeah, which is really great. Um, is that the, by Brene Brown? Yeah. Um, what was the one you had us do? Building Better? Building oh, Build to Last. Build to yeah. Last um, was a good one. And then... Um, there's one other one that was really good. 
Um, Christian, what was the one you had me, the really quick one you had me read or listen to? Was it Rocky? Or exactly what to say? Um, yes. Was it? What was that one? That last one? Think exactly what to say by Phil Jones, I think. Is that the one you're talking about, Kara? Yeah, and then there was one other one um, about like mark network marketing. I'll um find them all, and my husband shares the Audible, so there's like a thousand books, but I'll um write them in the chat. Awesome, perfect. Thank you so much. I love all of that, and take note of some of the books. Um, that way you guys can just kind of add that to your collection. The Build to Last one cannot recommend that enough to you guys read it once read it twice and don't just read it apply it right that book I wish that we had when we first started and there were so many things in there that he shared about how he did um and Phil and I were like oh my goodness some of those things we did and some of those things we didn't and the things that we did they really worked and they really helped we didn't understand why but after reading that book we were like okay. <laughs> like we understand this better. Um, and if you want to build a sustainable business with leader of leaders, that is such, such a good book. So highly, highly recommend that build to last by Keith Callahan. Um, and then take note of some of those other books. Um, and what I love that Kara's sharing, again, it's about the person that you are becoming along the way. Everything that you want is outside of your comfort zone. So you have to be willing to step outside of that circle. You have to be willing to be brave um, and really having awareness. Awareness is one of the very first steps, right? And so she talked about how, okay, and sometimes that takes other people to be able to help bring awareness to us, which is where the coachability piece comes in. Like, are are you willing to hear what your sponsor or someone else who's been in this longer than you? Are you willing to hear what they see and what they say? Do you give them permission to speak that into you? Um, and then two, after listening to those things that they're saying, you know, so many times when we get on these Zoom calls, people are like, well, I've heard this for a while, but I finally did it. And turns out they were right. <laughs> and we don't just tell you things that because we just want to see you struggle or we want to see you, you know, like face a really hard time. It's not about that. It's because we want to see you grow as a person and we know what works and we know how to get there because we've done it. We've led other people there and we want to see you also be able to exceed in that. Also, I found the rest of the slideshow. So I'm going to click through that real quick. And then we're going to go over and turn it over to Ashley because I'm sure she's so thrown off now that the order is way out of there. And she's been very patiently waiting and she's going to do amazing. So let me go ahead and share the rest of this so that we can highlight um, just a few different people and things that are on here. Okay, I think that we are good to go there. Okay, so this was everyone who enrolled for and got the portable charger. So we just heard, we heard from Emily, we heard from Corley, we heard from Kara. Um, and then we had Raquel, she enrolled six, she was our top enroller. And this is really fun, you guys. This was our weekly top recruiters. And I don't know if you guys have been following along with this um, on Health and Happiness Village, but we post this every Monday. And these are, um, it's a weekly top recruiter. So it's based on that week who had the most signups that week, the most level ones. And then when you are the top recruiter, you get to choose a $5 gift card from Amazon, Starbucks, or Target, whatever you want. Um, and so that's just kind of a fun little gift from us just to say, hey, we see you, we see the amazing work that you're doing and keep going. So that's a really fun thing that we do every single week that we like to highlight who is on our team Um you know, weekly leaders board. And then also we do top silver developers. So who helped to develop a silver um, that week as well? Um, and then we had so many people. I think we added like over 150 people or something like that um, the last month, which is just incredible. Um, so many lives are being changed because you guys are being brave and you're sharing. Um, then we had our rank advancements. We had all of these silvers. And if there's a little star next to their name, that means that they hit fast start, which is amazing. Um, and then here's just some fun pictures from convention. So this was um, the party that we threw at Alita's house, which was so, so fun. Um, 
and we went through so we had all the different teams who were there you'll notice lots of babies and things like that which is so fun and I love um and then in some of these pictures you'll also see like this is Gene Tips he is um the new CEO of Plexus like he they come around they take pictures with you they um they talk with you they meet with you um and they make you feel so so special so welcome just a part of like they genuinely want to hear from you um and then we had our black tie gala which Emily was talking about different events like there was the gold event there was winner's dinner um black tie gala where we're all in these fancy dresses over here um that was um that's like the top prize the top thing that you can earn and basically it is like mom prom and so you get to get dressed up super fancy and they always have a band and amazing food and it's such a fun time um and so I love being able to attend that every time and then here are our beautiful jewels on our team um and then here's just some other highlights you'll see our jewels they got to walk across stage while they were there um the Spanish event that Emily was talking about and um, we got to go to that that was incredible um I really particularly love the our version of like the Dundies Awards that we did at Alita's, which is super fun. We nominated different people um, and they won different prizes and awards and they all got little trophies and things like that. Um, we got to hear from John Maxwell, um, which was amazing. And then the speakers, we got to actually, um, we got to have like a personal lunch with him, which was amazing. Um, so that was super fun. This was definitely my favorite convention that we have had to date. Um, so lots of really fun fun things. Um, and then this was all of us from winner's dinner. They actually rented out the, um, wild horse saloon and it was all plexus. Like on a Friday night, they rented out the entire thing and we got to be there. So that was so fun. Like plexus always goes over the top. They do everything to the best. I've never seen places throw better parties than Plexus. It is amazing. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Ashley. This was her first convention, and she was there with her baby, um, which I love. And so go ahead and share with us just some of your experience at convention, um, and what inspired you, and then, um, you know, just some of your top tips um, for you having an amazing May. So just bear with me. I'm super nervous. So um, it was honestly so amazing. Like Alicia just kept pressuring me, not pressuring me, but just like telling me about it and just telling me how amazing it is and how good it would be for me to just like, you know, catch that vision. And um, she definitely, I, that definitely happened. Like I definitely got that vision that everyone is talking about. And it honestly is so amazing. Like the feeling and everything afterwards, it's like such a rush and a high. You just like feel like you need to just like tell everyone about it because it's so amazing. Um, so yeah, so like afterwards, like I literally, like I have not stopped reaching out to people like and just um, sharing with people. And um, I mean, the girls know, like I was even messaging like famous people that I follow and they were, we were having conversations, but they're like all set and all this stuff. But like, I mean, what's the harm in trying, right? So like, that's the whole thing is like, like there is no, like you're not gonna fail with just trying. So um, what's the worst that would happen? They're just gonna say no. So um, <laughs> I would say convention was so amazing. Like meeting everyone there, like so many of you are so sweet. I just love all of you so much. And um, it was just such an amazing experience. It was definitely very hard with Oliver, my son, but it was just so worth it, honestly. And um, it was my first time traveling alone with a baby and um, it was just so worth it. So um, yeah, and it was just amazing to hear like Cora's experience with you and uh, Megan and Phil going out with her, like that was so inspiring to me. Um, and then like after convention, like Jackie actually reached out to me and we were talking for a while and that was so inspiring too, like just so uplifting. So I would just say like, you definitely should go. None of your kids or anything should stop you from going to convention. It was so amazing. So, um, but besides that, um, for reaching out to people and stuff, like I've, um, on the plane ride back, I reached out to someone. We were talking next to each other the whole time and it was so sweet and she was so sweet, but it just didn't go anywhere, but it was 
there's no harm trying. So, um, and I love people so much and I love getting to know them. So like that is like this side of the business, like reaching out to people and like friending them, like that's my favorite part. Um, so, and then I'm trying to think, so like I had a couple of sip and shares that went well. I had a couple of people sign up and then um, just like old friends that like I didn't even think would sign up, signed up. So like never second guess those people because you never know. Um, and then also I had like even today, like I ended up, my husband made me business cards. Like that's a really good, um, he surprised me with those. Like that's such a good um, tool when you're out and about to hand people like your number and your email and stuff so they can contact you. And um I actually like went to the library today and I dropped them off there. So like if someone reaches out, I mean, you know, so, and then going grocery shopping, like that's another great way, just like reaching out to people that way, just wherever you go. Like if there's ever an opportunity to meet with people, just take it because that you just never know where or who you will meet and where that will go. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that, Ashley. You never know who you're going to meet. Phil and I truly believe that people are placed in our path for a reason. And so if someone comes across our path, whether that is a waitress at a, a restaurant or, you know, uh, someone who's cutting the boy's hair or what, whatever it is, wherever we are, um, that that person has been placed in our path for a reason. So whether that's for Plexus or whether that's for something else, our goal is always to add value to them. And that's what I hear when you talk, Ashley is that you are, and Alicia saying like, you're really great at asking questions. And so as you're doing that, that's your way of kind of adding value to other people's lives. Um, and so whether that is something now that they're going to say yes, or later on, um, you are leaving that person better off than they were before they met you. And I think that's such a huge piece of just loving people well and doing that. So everyone show Ashley some love in the comments because I know that she was really nervous to get on here. But what I love is her heart and her determination, right? She was like, don't let anything stop you from getting to convention. She had every reason in the book to not come, right? I remember that feeling of traveling with a baby by yourself to a place where you don't know. That is scary. There's so many things that she could have said, you know what? I'm just going to wait till next year. But she didn't. She decided that she was going to make it happen. And that kind of determination is what's going to get her so far. Um, because she's not letting those excuses while they're valid. And we always tell people this, like your excuses are valid. We're not telling you that they're not valid. They're very real. They're very valid, but they are still excuses. And she decided, you know what? I am not going to let those excuses stand in the way. And I want to say huge props to Alicia because she had several people on her team who were there. And, um, you know, we've heard her talk on some of the other celebration Zoom calls that we did, and she was amazing. But what I'm hearing here from everyone is that she did a really great job of casting vision for other people about what this could be and why they should get there. And she did not give up on them until they said yes. That's the only reason why I ended up at convention my first year, because Alita and Jennifer were like, Megan, you have to be there. And I was like, uh, what in the, like, I don't understand this. I don't think so. And they were like, no, you have to be like, you need to be here painting this picture. Um, and we said yes to going, um, I say we Phil and I agreed on it and I went, but, <laughs> um, Anyway, so that's awesome. So tonight we are our last person that we're going to hear from. Actually, unless Phil wants to close us out tonight, I'll give him that option. He was texting me. I can't believe you didn't ask me to share. So if he would like to share at the end, I will give him that opportunity to do that because we are actually working on growing his leg. He's doing amazing. He re-ranked gold last month um, and he's going for senior gold, re-ranking senior gold this month. Um, so that's super fun, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Michelle and I'm I'm going to let her share about her experience this year at convention um, and just, uh, you know, what were some of her top takeaways um, and things like that. So take it away, Michelle. Hi, everyone. So I'm Michelle. Um, so I got to go with Megan to Black Tie Gala this year, and that experience was amazing. Um, and so thanks, Phil, for staying at home so that I could actually go. <laughs> um, but we had a great girls night out. So, you know, and honestly, it's 
that's the first time I think anyone's actually done my makeup since like I got married so I mean it's been a long time since I've gotten off um, fancied up and everything so just the whole experience and I met a lot of great ladies um so the black tie gala yeah just the mom prom it was really really fun and then so then I got to actually stay with Megan and while she was working on her speech I actually got to meet Jackie who's on here and just a great group of women who when I met them, I mean, I felt like I'd known them forever. So they, you know, they took me in that morning and went to lunch with them. So, you know, that was great because I don't know this, the community that you get with Lexus is awesome. You know, it's like everyone is just, I don't know, very, very loving. So that was a great experience. And then of course, um, we all went to Alita Saturday night. And since um, we only live like 45 minutes from Nashville, my husband tagged along. So it was great to have him meet a lot of different people there, which he had, he's been to lead us once before, but it was great having him. He didn't come to any of the meetings, but it was just great for him to experience going to lead us and meeting a lot of you and going to the concert and everything. And then just having a little bit of time together. Um, but my takeaway really from convention, which John Maxwell, I mean, I know a lot of you were there, but you know, he does, I keep kind of looking back over my notes with him, you know, and just, talk about failing forward and it really hit me when he said keeping your failure and your success together um because it balances you and keeps you humble so I need to constantly think about that and I know we've already said a lot about excuses but I wrote down you know can't make excuses to have success your best excuse is your worst excuse so um and embrace hard there's going to be uphill hopes you can't have uphill hopes with downhill habits um, and that really spoke to me and it definitely, and then I wrote down, developed the process, you know, he kept saying, oh, test, fail a lot, fail a lot, you know, um, value of failure is learning, then improve and re-enter, you know, being a school teacher, that really hits to me because that's what we do all the time is constantly going back over things. So, but he just really, really, that stuck with me on constantly going over things and encourage others with your own failures. You know, impress people, talk about success, but you're going to impact people if you talk about your failures. So I think that's great to remember. And then with Megan, you know, she got to talk at convention herself and she had us actually write down our vision while we were there in the meeting, you know, and I keep going back over that, you know, I know she's talked a lot about her vision boards and I, and the mindset. And I think that's definitely been the one thing that's been holding me back big time it's mindset all these books have definitely been great on that um but going back over your vision but another thing that stuck out with me was you know a go without a plan is just a wish if you want to change your future you got to change your thoughts so and all these books have definitely been hitting really hard on all of that um and another person that taught i think it was the business builders and that stuck with me you know if you are not com not uncomfortable then you're not growing and quit saying the words easy because nothing about this is truly easy but you know if you are all comfortable tonight then you're not working hard enough is kind of the way she put it and that just really stuck out with me so just kind of you know it was a great experience for sure and I am where it was in my hometown I don't know I just it was really really great being in Nashville but I'm definitely excited for Vegas so and I am determined to walk across that stage in Vegas along with some of the rest of you ladies that's on here. So um, I think I've covered everything. I love that. Awesome. Thank you so much, Michelle. Those were some really, really great quotes um, that John Maxwell had shared hearing him speak. Um, you know, I mean, he's just one of those people. Phil and I actually have this joke. This is hilarious. I'll, I'll share this one thing. And then if Phil wants to jump on and say anything else, I'll let him. So at the luncheon with John Maxwell, you know, as we got to meet him, I told him, I said, John, I said, my husband and I have this little game that we play back and forth with each other where he'll share with me some, you know, words of wisdom. And it won't be until I hear it from you in a book or on one of your podcasts or something like that. Then I actually listen to it. And then I go and tell my husband like, oh, okay. Oh, I just heard this great thing. And he said to me, John said, well, it sounds to me like you have really great taste. And I just was cracking up at that because I thought he was so witty and on his feet. And Phil was like, Megan, if I were to have said something like that, you would have thought that I was rude 
and arrogant and all these different kinds of things. But because John Maxwell said it, I thought that it was so funny. Um, so I love just like the, the extra experiences that Plexus offers us. Um, you know, just at these different events and things like that. Um, so babe, do you want to leave us with any words of wisdom? Well, no, you know, the, the last thing I would say now that you allowed me to have a platform. So thank you so much. Um, is no, you know, when I left, uh, convention, this was the first full complaint, uh, uh, convention that I've been to, uh, believe it or not, I've never heard a speaker speak, uh, but, uh, heard John Maxwell. And after I heard that, I looked at her and I just said that night, I said, we're, we're going to go Emerald by December. And she looked at me, she's like, uh, what, like, what, what do you mean? I said, we're going to do this and we're going to do it by September or by December. And she, uh, she wasn't bought in at first. And then she said, all right, let's do it. And we've been running ever since. And it's been a lot of fun, y'all. And I just want to encourage you to have boldness. You know, one of the things that's on my side is I don't, I'm not afraid to pick up the phone and call someone. And so I called my real estate friend and I said, how many people did I, uh, did I refer to you? And he's like, a lot. He's like, I'm gonna make you feel guilty. I said, how many people have you referred to me? And he's like, uh, no one. I said, yeah, that's right. I said, so when are you going to start living up to your end of this deal? And he didn't know what to do. But guys, I have no shame with what I have. I know what we have. I know it works. And I know that we can help people. And I believe so much in what we can do and how we can bless people. I have no problem being that confident in asking for that referral or for those people to join us. And so I just want to encourage you with that. Have that boldness. Have that, um, you know, you're on an amazing team, y'all. Um, there, there is no other team like this. And so have that confidence. And if you don't have it, rent it from someone. Talk to your rep line about how to, what should I say? You know, how should I say it? Use their confidence, use their faith. But um, in all seriousness, yeah, like we're going to run for Emerald uh, in December. It's kind of scary to say it, but at the same time, I'm so freaking excited. And um, I told her I'm going to be the first four-star uh, uh, diamond male up on that stage. And so I'm here for it. Uh, I, and when I get a goal, she's like, I've never seen you like work like this. I said, yeah, cause when I work on my stuff, you're always asleep. So I was like, she never sees this side of me. So she's like, I don't, I don't know if I like this. Like you're pushing me a lot to do things. I'm like, yeah, that's right. Like, let's go. So grind, you know, I said, I said on Tuesday night, if you're, does your grind match your dreams? And that's really the reality, right? Think about what you did. You have choices. Are you making the right choice for your dream? That's all I'll say. Well, thanks, babe, for that enlightening speech. I'm so glad I gave you a platform tonight to speak. Um, but seriously, he's so fired up. Um, we are, we're running for Emerald on his leg. Um, and to really do that in like six months is insane. Um, but we're here for it. And, and what I want you guys to hear in that is, Part of what we have done in our business since day one is push the envelope on what people think is possible to simply show you guys that you can do more than you ever dreamt that you could. It's why we double rank Sapphire and Diamond in the same month. It's why we went Emerald in a year. It's why we're gunning for Emeralds, um, you know, by December and all those different kinds of things, because we want you guys to expand your horizons and what you believe to be possible. And so I'll just say one more thing on that. You know, I, I, I'm not afraid to miss a goal. So I have the goal to go for Emerald in December and I'm going to do the work that is going to be required to hit Emerald by December. But if I'm senior Ruby in December, do you think I'm really going to be upset? Like, no, if I'm only Ruby by December, do you think I'm really going to be upset? No, what it's going to do for our family is going to be exponentially, you know, it's just going to be incredible. So that's where I want you to understand goals are supposed to push you. Goals are supposed to be hard. I think we're so afraid to put a goal out there and possibly miss it that we don't go hard for it. Now, I don't believe I'm going to miss it. I want you to all hear that right now. Like, I'm, I'm going to hit this. But if I don't, oh, well, like, I wouldn't change a thing. So that's what I want you guys to hear and understand that I think too many times we set goals. And if we miss it, we get in this funk that we're not, uh, that, that we're not worth it. And I want you to know you are. So. Thanks, babe. I love that. I love that. Um, and that's part of, you know, shooting for the moon. And even if you miss, you land among the stars, like you're going to be better off because you set something big instead of setting something small. And you know that you can hit it every single time. That's not going to push you. Um, so 
Thank you so much to everyone who shared tonight. It was so valuable. Thank you. Um, we love hearing from you guys. And then we will go ahead and we will do the same thing next month and we will celebrate um, the amazing July that we're having. So have a good night, guys.